QuickBooks Desktop 2023, how to download the software. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are on the desktop to outline our objective, noting that this is the prior year software, the 2022 QuickBooks desktop software. At the end of the process, we would like to download an installation software package, which will then be installed to create the QuickBooks desktop 2023 software on our machine. That being the end objective, remembering that this software is not the data file, it's the software. It's similar to having, say, Microsoft Word on the computer, then using Microsoft Word to open multiple different Word documents once we have QuickBooks 2023 on the computer, we can then use it to create multiple different company files. That's the objective. There are three scenarios we might be in. We might not have the software at all, and we might just try to be practicing with the software, in which case we'll be looking to get the free 30-day trial, download that onto our system. Or we might be purchasing the software for the first time, in which case we'd have to go to the sales page, for example, to get access to the purchasing process and then download the software. Or we may have purchased the software in a prior year, remembering that the desktop version is now on a subscription basis. So now that 2023 has passed, when we open up the software package, it's usually gonna be telling us, hey, you have an update to the software. In order to update the software, we're gonna have to go onto the Intuit website, download the 2023 software, and then we'll just update our data file to the 2023 version. So let's go over these three scenarios quickly and, and see the differences between them. First, let's imagine you don't have the software at all and you would like to download the free trial version to practice with along with the course. So in that instance, I believe it's easier than going to the Intuit owner of QuickBooks website to just go to a search page on your favorite browser, such as Google, type in something like, QuickBooks desktop free trial, making sure that you're noting the desktop version as opposed to the online version, and then searching for the free trial version. Here we have it, noting that we're at the quickbooks.intuit website, so that looks to be the correct one. And then you could go through the download process. Notice here that we have the QuickBooks enterprise trial uh, install file. You can use the enterprise version, which is kind of a level up than the version we'll be using in the course because all of the things that we do in the course will be at the lower version and you'll have a kind of software that can do that and more. So that should be good. Also note that they currently only have, I believe the 2022 version at this point in time. Hopefully they will update that shortly so that you will have access to the 2023 free trial version to practice along with the course. You can follow along with the 2022 version. Everything will work fine, except you may not be able to use the 2023 backup files if you wanna jump forward in the course or rework something in the course. Uh, we do have 2022 backup files in the course, which hopefully you, can, you could use those as well. They'll be lower down uh, in the course. So that's an option that you can use as well. So that's the first option. If you download this installation, you're going to get an installation kind of thing that you're going to basically have to then open up and run on your desktop, at which point you'll then end up with the actual software on your computer and you'll be ready to then open up another uh, file within it. So that's option number one. Option number two is that you're buying the software. Now, if you're buying the software, then you want to make sure that you're you're buying it for you know you're going to be using the software for your purposes but note 
that you can open up multiple company files if you have the software. So if you already have the software downloaded or if you're buying the software, you could still work through the practice problems in the course because of the beauty of the desktop version being that you can open up multiple company files like open up multiple Word documents with one download of the software. That's one of the big benefits. I think that's one of the things that possibly Intuit, uh, the owner of QuickBooks, doesn't like about it, right? Because they want everyone to pay for each new course possibly, but any, each new company file. But in any case, let's go to Intuit website. That's going to be at Intuit dot com so this would the easiest way to get here would be i believe to go to the owner of quickbooks website that be intuit dot com and then go to quickbooks this is the way i would always go there so that i'm sure that i'm at an intuit website i'm not buying it from somebody else if i want to buy it from intuit you can buy it from an accountant for example talk to your cpa firm and buy it through them possibly but if you're buying it from somewhere online i would go to the source here and check that out first so now i'm in the quickbooks website within intuit i usually go all the way to the bottom all the way to the bottom in order to look at all the products and then i'm going to make sure that i want the quickbooks desktop we talked about the differences between desktop and online and so on and so forth in a prior presentation go into the desktop version and remember that at this point in time they don't have quickbooks pro offered here it is available according to the person that i talked to when i contacted into it but they want you to actually contact them in order for them to sell you the pro version which is around 500 i think it's 549.99 rather than the premiere which is the level up at the 799 so hopefully i'm thinking they're going to update their website and add the pro version here so you can buy it on your own but at this point in time you'd have to actually contact the support uh, and talk to a salesperson to get to the to that version who's then going to say maybe you want the online version and again possibly they're doing that because the smaller companies a bookkeeper can basically manage multiple companies with one download file and they would like to be having each small company pay per company you know so i'm thinking that might be one of the reasons why they're kind of trying to gear smaller businesses away from the desktop version but that's that's the other option if you purchase from the website then again you go through the purchasing process you'll have to download the software which will be an installation software and then once you install it you will once again get to your your software on your computer so the three ways to get to the software on the computer three scenarios one you don't have it at all you want to then practice with it therefore you're going to be using the the trial version Number two, you already have the software like I have here, 2022 software. When I open it, you might get a message that says something like this. There's a new QuickBooks software update waiting for you. And then you can go to, to the new uh, install now, which can walk you through the installation process, which should still get you to the point where you got to download the software and you'll have another piece of software here, which will be the 2023 version and all you have to do is then open your data file in the 2023 version like a word document updating from an older version to a newer version the data file will then hopefully update without any problems or number three you're purchasing the the new quickbooks software uh which you can still quick purchase the pro version of the software and then you'll be using that for your business as well as possibly other businesses and your bookkeeping business and you can have another file for our practice problem and work it that way no matter which way you do it if you get the software on the computer then uh you can you can open up multiple data files with it and you can work the practice problem if you have an older software like 2022 or even older you could still work through the practice problem following along with us but you won't be able to use the data files restoring the data files you'll have to uh, use your own data files for the first half of the course and the second half of the course when we make a new company file you can't really jump forward and, and go back as easily although again we do have prior data files for 2022 and prior periods, which might be uh, useful. Accounting. I don't know anyone in accounting.